Wee. Wow. Okay, so welcome to a new episode of Nate's MMA Corner. I am Nate, and if you watch my show, you're in my corner. Okay, so today's episode is a post-fight recap show of the main card of UFC Fight for the Troops 3 or uh, UFC Tim Kennedy versus Rafael Natal, UFC on Fox Sports 1, depending, however you want to call it. Yeah, this main card was pretty exciting, explosive. There's a couple surprises, and I'm 3-2 and two on this main card with my predictions. I was right about three of them on who would win, and wrong about two of them on who would win. Um, yeah, this main card started off real predictable for me. Yeah, we had Colton Smith and, or, yeah, Colton Smith and Michael Chiesa. My notes are over there, that's why I'm pointing over there. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we had a Colton Smith... There's Michael Chiesa in a lightweight bout to kick off the main card. And this is exactly how I said it would be on my pre-fight show. It'd be Colton Smith wanting to grapple with Chiesa. Wrong idea, Colton Smith. Love you, man. But, well, if it stayed standing, Chiesa, again, has reach advantage. And good job, Michael Chiesa. Proud of you, man. Got submission, it was, yeah, submission rear naked choke in round two. But yeah, the grappling exchange went back and forth, back and forth. It, there was very little, there, there was some stand up, but the highlights of the match were definitely Colton Smith almost submitting Michael Chiesa, and then Chiesa coming back and taking uh, Colton Smith down and getting that rear naked. And that was pretty amazing. Yeah, Kiesa, he got submission of the night. That was awesome. Good job, Kiesa. Met him in Anaheim. Great guy. Uh, yeah, then in the second fight on the main card, we had Russell Kabilov versus Jorge Masvidal. This is exactly another fight. It turned out the way I said it would. It would be Rustam taking it to Jorge. And yeah, Rustam, he's just slightly better at, than Jorge at everything. And this was primarily a stand-up war. And it was good. It was good. It was a good fight. And Rustam just outwitted Jorge on everything. It was, a, it was a fun little match in the lightweight division. And yeah, Rustam won by unanimous decision 30-27 and... Uh, and then another judge had a 29-28. I could see how Jorge might have won one of the rounds, but I have it all three rounds for Rustam. But it doesn't matter. Rustam won. Uh, that's, it's pretty obvious if you watch that match. He outpointed him on strikes. Rustam got, a, got some takedowns. I believe Jorge got some takedowns too, but... Rustam overall had more takedowns and more strikes landed and controlled the pace more. And it was a great fight. I'm really uh, interested to see where does Rustam go from here. I think he should definitely fight a top 15 guy for sure in his next fight. Then in the middleweight division, we had Yoel, Yoel Romero versus uh, Ronnie Marquez. And yeah... Yoel Romero won by KO punches in round three. Yeah. And this fight was... I was shocked. I mean, I, I thought for sure uh, Ronnie would win. Uh, Honey would win, but... Yeah. It's just... Yoel Romero, he, he's a great wrestler. And he loves to strike. Which is pretty interesting. He has... Insanely good wrestling. He's won some credentials in his native Cuba, I believe it is. And yeah, we'll definitely see more of him in in the UFC for sure. I say he fights a top 20 guy in his next bout for sure. Then in the co-main event, we have a women's bantamweight bout with Alexis Davis and Liz Carmouche. Yeah, this is one I was wrong about, too. I thought uh, Liz Carmouche was going to win by probably unanimous decision or knockout. But, 
Yeah, and I thought if Alexis Davis was going to win, it was going to be because Alexis Davis took it to the ground and landed some knockouts. Or uh, took it to the ground, ground and pound, or submissions. Alexis Davis has far better credentials in the ground than Liz Carmouche. And I thought, if anything, Liz Carmouche was going to get submitted if she was going to lose. I didn't think it was going to be by unanim unanimous decision. But nonetheless, it was shocking to see. I think Alexis Davis, she's one or two, uh, I would say about two fights away from a title shot. I still feel like Sarah McMahon should get a title shot uh, after her next win. Because I think Sarah McMahon, uh, being an Olympic wrestler and undefeated in MMA, should get a title shot after her next uh, victory in her next match. So I mean, she wins her next match. Yeah, but uh, Alexa Davis, though, she's a name. She sells tickets and... It would be interesting. She's a veteran in the sport. And, yeah, there's talk that, you know, maybe Katz and Gano, she'll fight next. But, I don't know. I I, I, I got to go with Katz and Gano. If they were going to fight, I think Katz and Gano would beat Lex Davis. But that's if that match would ever happen. But, yeah, Alexis Davis, though, a couple more wins, gets a title shot. That's what I say. Good job, Alexis Davis. She won by unanimous decision. So then on to the main event. In the main event, we had Tim Kennedy versus uh, Rafael Natal in a middleweight bout. And, wow. Well, I thought this fight was going to last longer with Tim, Tim Kennedy winning by decision. But, wow. When the fight started to look... The fight was pretty much all stand-up. And... Rafael Natal was landing more and keeping the pace and finding his range and just keeping Tim Kennedy at bay. And Tim Kennedy was throwing kicks and just not able to really do a whole lot. And I was like, oh boy, this this fight card that I thought was going to be real predictable on who would win, if Tim Kennedy loses this, then I'm 2-3 and three on this and I'm on the losing side of my predictions for this. And, oh boy, like, I didn't see this coming. But then, boom, Tim Kennedy lands that heavy left hand, which he's been training to do. And he lands it towards the tail end of round one and wins by KO punches in round one. And, yeah, Tim Kennedy, he looked great. I mean, yeah, he struggled at the beginning of the match, but then I think had it gone to a second round, he uh, he would have uh, taken care of some stuff. Yeah, so there you have it. Tim Kennedy won by KO punches round one. And yeah, this, this overall was a great fight card. I really enjoyed it. And it was good to see support for the troops. And I'm glad that Tim Kennedy was able to win at the tail end of it. That really uh, left it on a good note for myself and a lot of the troops out there and yeah Rafael Natal is a good fighter though He's st he, he doesn't move far down the rankings in my mind um, yeah and that wraps up this post fight show for Tim Kennedy versus Rafael Natal and stay tuned for my next show which will be a pre-fight for Dan Henderson versus Vito Belfort UFC on, UFC on Fox Sports 1 and also, if whatever rare case I don't get that pre-fight show made and done, then stay tuned for the post-fight show because yeah, these fight cards are hitting it real close. And until then, I'll see you.